Hey, welcome to another video. Almost two years ago, I recorded a video series for this channel for free on how to build Shopify app with Laravel. That was two years ago. Uh, back then, I was trying to build my first Shopify app, but I was never successful. I built a lot of apps. In the middle of them, I lost motivation. I was thinking, oh, maybe this app is not good enough. Someone might have better than this. And there are some other excuses that you bring, and that will let you down. In the middle of developing the app, I was giving up and I was not continuing. Uh, I think I built about three or four apps. But a few months ago, I decided, you know what? No matter what, I'm going to work on this new app that I have in my mind. And I'm going to push it to Shopify store. And I want to get the experience of how it is and how is the process. So today, I'm happy to announce that my first Shopify app went live on Shopify store. And in this video, I will share my experience from the idea of developing the app and the development process and uh, finally the review process from Shopify team and how smooth it is and how the review process will be. So you will learn a lot and if you are building a Shopify app for the first time, this is going to be a helpful video for you. So the app that I build is this accessibility widget that you can install on your store and it will give you some accessibility uh, options for your store. And it is required for most of a uh, US store, that's why it is very good. And I have worked a lot on this to make it accessible. I have tested on many different US stores to make sure this is working smoothly on every store. So the idea of the app comes when people reach out to me uh, because of the accessibility issues. A lot of people sue them because their website is not accessible. And there is a widget that you need for the website to make it accessible. So I thought, you know what, I fix a lot of these um, accessibility issues on the website. Why not I build a tool that you can add to a website and it will make it accessible. So that was the idea. So when you have the idea, you write down all the features that you want to add. The features are very short list of this is the feature I'm going to add and you start developing. And believe it or not, when you're developing, the features will multiply like multiply by two or three and you are going to add a lot of more features. Uh, that is I think a good thing. When you start the idea of developing the app, you don't have a lot of idea and you think like, what features could I add? If you are in that stage, don't worry. Just put your hand on the keyboard and start coding. While you are developing, you will get the idea of what feature you are going to add. Because when you add one feature, you might think of the other one and say, how about if customer need this feature? How about if I add this step and it will make the customer life easier? That is the process of development. So, so the idea of building an app is always unpolished and you will polish it when you are developing the app itself. And if you have an idea and you think it is not the perfect idea, don't worry, just start working and as you are developing your app, you will make a perfect app out of that idea. So all you have to do is just start. Now the third step is the review process and it is very important. A lot of people might develop the, uh, the app, but they do not publish it in Shopify App Store. Like me who develop many apps and I gave up on the middle. If you haven't gone through the review process and this step is very important. So you submit your app and Shopify, I think they have a bot, they will scan your app and if it has some missing feature, it will automatically come with, uh, with an automatic reply to your email and say these are the things that you have to fix. That is not the review process. That is just the like pre-review process. Once you fix all those issues, you submit your app again and it is, they are going to, uh, someone will uh, come and then review uh, your app manually. Now, there is a lot of instruction written on Shopify documentation on what you have to write when you are submitting your app. For example, you have to write the demo, like what is the demo store if your website, if your app requires some credential, you have to add the username and password so the person who review does not have to like create an account on your store or create an account for your app. So you have to provide all those details. And once you submit it, someone will come and review your app and they will write down uh, the notes and the issues and they will uh, reply back to your email. For me, because I was very excited about building and publishing my Shopify app to the store, as soon as they come with the feedback, I started fixing them in the same hour and then sub resubmit again. So the review process did not continue. So it took them 24 hours to come with another feedback. So the review process will go on again and they will come with, uh, with more feedbacks. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about the review was the reviewer had a list of the issue, but she didn't send all of them to me. So how did I know? Like if there is nine issues with my app, uh, she sent me five of them on the first day, three of them on the other day, and then two of them, let's say, or one of them at the end. Uh, how did I know is Because they took a screenshot, and this was from uh, the last time they sent me the feedback, they took a screenshot, and the screenshot was from an older version of the app. I noticed 
they, they found that issue in the first step, but they didn't tell me that this is an issue, which I didn't notice either. But since I opted the app, that uh, part of the screenshot was not on the app. So I noticed they had the issue in the first step, but they did, didn't uh, write it down in the first or second email. Uh, that is not a good thing because uh, if they send me all the issues, uh, it is going to cut a lot of time. Uh, I don't have to come back and forth and say, I have fixed the issues, please review again. And they come and it takes, again, 24 hours for them to review. So that is the only thing I didn't like. But the final step is when you, uh, they fix uh, all the, uh, the problem, uh, they are going to write a, an email for you and say, your app is almost ready to go live. You, all you have to do is make sure uh, it is not a development mode make sure the pricing is set to uh, like production not to development and then they are going to publish your app to live store. you will receive an email that your app is live that is a happy moment and to be honest it doesn't matter how simple your app is if you can make it to the shopify store and you can charge people like monthly or recurring revenue it is a lot even if it is like a five dollar or ten dollar per month still that is like um, very good like if you have 10 or 20 or 100 clients that is a lot more than like making 10k from another active income for example from freelance we make a lot of money but it is not as good as having a passive or recurring revenue from our like software as a service so that's it for the review process and as a bonus i'm going to add some more thing to this video my app got uh, five star reviews in the first few days of uh, publishing now, I don't want to make others feel uh, when they submit their app to the store and they feel like, oh, why am I not getting installed? Why I am not getting five star reviews? Uh, when I publish it in the, so uh, in the Shopify store, um, there are a lot of people I know in my community. I build their store, I manage their store, and I ask them, hey, I have built this app, please install it in your store. It is required for your store to have this. And if you like it, please leave a review. Some of them did, some of them didn't. Because I had this like community of people, I could reach out to them and ask them for review. A lot of people don't give review and a lot of them who want to give review is mostly negative review. If they find an issue, if you don't, don't support your app properly, they will write a negative review. Positive review is hard. Like someone reached out to me and said, hey, your app is not working properly in my store. They didn't pay anything for my, for my app. They used the free version and I fixed them in the first 20 minutes and they were happy and said can you please leave a review they did it and that's totally fine and you have to be comfortable with that and that's why if you are publishing your app to the store make sure you're nice to people and make sure you have a community of people where you can reach out to them and say hey this is my app you can install it you can use it if you like you can really leave a review so if you don't have a review that's fine but all you have to do is build your community don't feel bad if you don't get a review in the first few weeks because uh, it is not going to appear in the search page I was searching my app on the Shopify store, unless I write the exact name, it was not appearing. Until like these days, like one week has passed. Now when I search it, it is appearing on the search also. So that is the review process. I hope this video has been informative. And also, if you are building a Shopify app, uh, the, the video series is available, building Shopify app with Laravel in the channel, completely free, is still relevant. The same technology that I use. But you might face some challenges and you have to do some googling but still you can always fix the problem that if you have and yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video